Hello everyone and welcome back. It has been a little bit, but we're back with more mail. Uh, this time we're calling it Winter Mail. Winter 2023, but also Winter 2020. I don't know how, like when you qualify, like what is Winter 2022 versus Winter 2023? Um, like is the first season of the year spring or is the first season of the year winter? Because it's technically winter. Yeah. So we're at the beginning of the year. Yes. Anyway, this is going to contain mail from uh, parts of October, like a little bit of October, November, December, January, and then part like a little bit of February. So it's it's kind of a widespread winter. It's winter. Yeah, like that's why I said winter. I was like, it's so it's so appropriate to say winter. Anyway, uh, we have a featured letter, and our featured letter is from Clara in Denmark. Clara says, "Dear Stephen Amell, hello." I hope you're both doing well. My name is Clara and I'm a longtime viewer from Denmark. If memory serves, it's been almost 10 years at this point, but I've never before sent you guys anything or sent any fan mail at all, so I thought it was high time I tried my hand at it. I just wanted to thank you guys for the years of entertainment, inspiration, and good times in general. Watching the two of you over the years has taught me a lot, and your openness about everything, from grief to medical issues, reminds me that it's okay to talk about difficult things. For example, your frank discussions about the loss of Sagan helped me when I had to say goodbye to my own kitty companion of 12 years last year. So thank you for that. I've also lived with Crohn's disease for 12 years as of this year, so when the unexplainable stomach issue saga was happening, I just nodded along with every vlog. All those tests and procedures really are no fun to go through when you just want answers. Anyways, I've long wanted to send you guys something typically Danish, but could never quite think of the right thing. But then I remembered you guys like Kringle, which, in case you've never been told, is pronounced with a soft G uh, like in Thing. Danish is weird and guttural like that. Sadly, sending a Denmark-made Kringle would, or Kringle, I did my best, uh, would be a bad idea. That's why I'm sending you guys the recipe for a classic yeast dough Kringle. Now you can make hot Kringle whenever you want. And because Christmas is soon upon us, again, this is, this is winter, I thought I'd also send you the recipe for our national Christmas dessert, as well as two cookie recipes. Uh, oh my goodness. Rizalamand? Rizalamand. A rice pudding with uh, vanilla and almonds. Rizalamand? That's probably closer. Uh, vanilla almond cookies and a sugar cookie recipe from 1943. Feel free to share with friends and family. I'm sure Mama George would love to add to her dessert and cookie arsenal. Thank you for all the smiles, laughs, and everything else. And happy holidays when you get to them. Always a fan, Clara. Clara, thank you. And um, again, I would use this as an opportunity to apologize for everyone that sent in mail and we haven't opened it until now. We're busy mm -hmm. <laughs> near the end of the year. I do think that things will pick up and improve. We're kind of getting our life back on track yeah. a little bit. But um, the fun thing is that then you get a lot of mail at once, and that's kind of fun. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I've certainly enjoyed doing the vlog. One of the reasons I enjoy doing it is letters like this that express appreciation for talking about difficult subjects. Because mm -hmm. I really think that that's invaluable. Yes. Uh, I think that it's helpful to hear from from people that like, you know, tough things happen and you can get through them. And I, I think that that's a really valuable thing to to have. Um, all right. So the recipes are. Yeah, these the recipes are here, and they are. In English, but they are grams, but we easily have ways to do that here. We have, we can do yeah, the Yeah, we're not stuck with uh, the imperial system. We can do the, I yeah. mean, for one, we can convert, but also yeah. we've got like. All of our measuring stuff has both on it, so yeah. that's, that's great. It's really, it's really not a, a but problem. But these all look like super accessible. Like, I mean, there's a few things I'm seeing on here that yeah. um, I probably have to read a little bit and find out what they are. Like, um, <laughs> hardshorn. Which, but that's but that's also part of the fun of an international recipe. Yeah, like what is this? Like when an international recipe just casually drops something and you're like, I'm sorry, what what is this? And then you have to do a little research and then it's like, oh, like that sort of thing is really fun. Anyway, uh, Clara, thank you. Thank you. Also, since we crossed the holiday threshold, uh, we received a bunch of Christmas cards, so I wanted to take a opportunity to show this off and say thank you everyone. We always appreciate receiving Christmas cards every year. And along with that, uh, we got some vinyl stickers. Some decals. That were sent in with a bunch of like video oh, game characters. Like, little cute ones. Yeah, these are really cool. Thank you. Thank you everyone that sent in um, 
cards and, and letters and stuff over the last few months, especially around the holidays. We appreciate it. And now, let's open some boxes. There's a lot of boxes. Our first package is from Char in White Rock, New Mexico. Inside, there is the 12 Cats of Christmas book. Which is which very is cute. so cute. I did not know that this existed. Nine Chasing Ribbons, Eight Watching Winter. And it has this cute... What's the five? The five, per so sweet. Five, per so sweet. Sorry, I just... <laughs> you just had I to. I wanted an excuse to do that. I hope you will forgive me. This is so cute. There was also um, these. These, oh, it looks like our boys. I know, I know. Dan, if you want to enhance, I'm going to go CSI on this. These are very, very cute little stickers that were also included. Uh, thank you. That's from uh, Char and, and the whole family. Yeah. And uh, that's a very sweet book. This is so cute. I love it. I'm willing to celebrate Christmas all year round if cats are involved. Our next package is from Bergenfield, New Jersey. What did we get from New Jersey? A box. What will New Jersey think of next? <laughs> After boxes. This was a bottle cap and um, it has a real fact inside. Okay. And um, a Snapple cap. So why don't you read that real fact? A single lightning bolt contains enough energy to cook 100,000 pieces of toast. True facts. Makes you think. <laughs> Nothing about that was smooth. <laughs> like, almost hit myself in the face. I had lofty okay. ambitions for what that would look like. That was only slightly better than mine, but yeah, that was better. Was that, was that the entire package? That was it. That took you a long time to open. It did. Thank you, New Jersey. Our next package is from Reynolds in Clayton, North Carolina. And there is a letter, and the letter says, hello random friends, and happy Festivus. I decided to change things up instead of sending you games I found at Goodwill and send you two a gift instead. Go ahead and open the gift now. Don't worry, I'll wait. And then there's a bunch of ellipses, so I, I, I guess we really will go ahead and open this up. What's inside there, Mal? A copy of Hex card game. Uh, Hex. The, the, there it goes. I was trying to catch it in the light to read it. The party game of hilarious spells. Hexes will make you do crazy things. Oh, so like you might have to sing a song or sneeze. One of <laughs> so I'm reading the examples and one of them is like, you must sneeze. Attach this card to hex to play, play another defense card. And there's defense cards to like prevent you from having to do the things. The hexes. Good job, you opened the gift. Give yourself a cookie. Now for the explanation. As you can see, it's a party game. Put it simply, you want to hex everyone else using your defense cards, but be warned, you can only draw defense cards equal to the number of hexes on you, up to five cards. Be sure to follow the rules of your hexes or you will get another hex, no way to counter. Player with the fewest hexes at the end of the game wins. I suggest you brush up on your cat facts, by the way and maybe warm up your vocal cords before playing. Oh, you probably are wondering what the spinner is for. Keep it with the game. It'll make sense, and it'll make it easier when you try to play. So have fun. I'm sure I'll see this in a vlog in the future, and I can't wait to hear your reactions. Have a great holiday. Your random friend, Lee, from The Five Random Guys. Well, thank you, Lee. I appreciate it. This reminds me a little bit of Flux. A little bit, yeah. Because in Flux, Flux is a card game where the rules are constantly changing and evolving, and it kind of sounds like that's happening a little bit like on a personal level mm. with Hex, where like you have rules that are changing for you personally. But this is more of a party game. Pick a color. I'm gonna spin it. And then if it's the same... You win. I win. Yeah. Okay, so the color that I choose is green. I'm gonna pick purple. Okay. You wanna spin? Wait, hold on. How many? Oh, I was gonna say, are there two purples? No, there's there's. It's blue and purple. Okay. Um, you hold it flat. Huh? Otherwise, gravity's gonna help. Yeah, grab. Oh, well, you would win. It's purple. Here, let me let me just spin it to a side that makes a lot of sense. All right, 
So here. You have to hold it flat. Yeah, I'm holding it. I'm holding it flat. You're holding it flat vertical. Flat against me. Oh, flat horizontally. I think this is pretty fair. Go. And oh. I wow. almost won. Wow, that's not a way. Green! All right, green! All right, pretty good. Good job, me. <laughs> Can't believe it landed on orange. I rigged the game and everything. Next package we have is from Anita in North Chesterfield, Virginia. And there is hi. a note that says, hi. And presumably even more words. <laughs> more than just the one. You know that moment when the contents of the package is more than the note itself? Yeah, I had to cut open the box to cram this in there. <laughs> Oops! Oh well. Recently I got a new position at work that is in walking distance to both a record shop and a game shop. Both have taken so much of my money. And found the game shop to have a collection of manuals. What is in this box is about a week's worth of lunch times sitting on the game shop floor going through their boxes with your list on my phone. Hopefully these help with your collections. From Kiwi Lee Scipio. Holy crap. Yeah. Thank you. Also, I identify with this in a big way because there's been times where I will go to a game store and they have manuals and I'm like, manuals! Because not every game store has like loose manuals, mm -hmm. but sometimes I'll get to a place and they'll have loose manuals and I'll be like, loose manuals! And I will sit on the floor of a game store, Mal knows, where she's just like, okay, I'll, I'll just be in the car. <laughs> and I'll just be like going through stuff. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, so all sorts of incredible stuff in here. Uh, Mario Golf, Friend 64, Power Rangers. Uh, we've got the um, instruction booklet for the Duck Hunt uh, Mario Brothers NES uh, duo cart. Um, oh, this is a cool little extra. This is a um, Nintendo Power advertisement that would have come with, um, what is this, Donkey Kong? Yeah, with Donkey Kong 64. Um, so in a lot of the uh, the first party Nintendo games, there was ads for Nintendo Power because they wanted you to get a subscription, which didn't mean anything to me because I already had a subscription. But these sorts of things are really cool and I love to, to have those and put them with the game. Uh, we got uh, Lion King for Super Nintendo, uh, Lion King for Genesis, uh, The Legend of Zelda instruction manual, Wario's Woods, Madden 95 uh, for both NES and Super NES? Is that? No, that, this wouldn't have come out on NES. This would have been a poster. This is a poster that comes with Madden 95. We've also got Pocket Bomberman for the Game Boy, Tetris and Dr. Mario, Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 3, and uh, Knockout Kings. This is great. Thank you. Actually, so one of the... Uh, I don't talk about this a lot because trying to get them all is just... It's going to be so hard. But one of my goals is to eventually try and collect all of the N64 manuals. I don't collect cardboard. I mean, if I if I come across cardboard, I'll keep it, right? But I, I am not trying to finish off like a complete N64 collection. I'm not trying to get all of the, the cardboard boxes, but I'd love to have the manuals. And I've been trying to slowly get the manuals over the years and like a stack of manuals like this is extremely helpful, so. Thank you. I really appreciate this. I, a lot of people aren't into like manuals. I really like to look at them because yeah. it's like it. A lot of the times, it's uh, representative of like how design was at that particular moment in time. Sometimes there's really interesting like lore stuff that's not in the game, especially older games. They're just fascinating to me. I that's the same reason I like to collect. Um, uh, player's guides too. I just I find it all very very fascinating. So um, Thank you. Really appreciate it. Next up. We have a package from Amazon And it makes a wonderful noise it does There are a few substances in the world that make quite that noise oh, Look at this. I'll hand you those oh, oh, oh my god, okay, let me try and make heads or tails um this, uh, da, 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 this is from Corin Silver. Ah. Corin Silver says, I love these puzzles to death and wanted to share two of them with you both. This one is a tad more complex, but as fellow cat lovers, it seemed appropriate, and I hope you like them. So, um, give me a sec. There's also another one here. Uh, and it says, this one is very simplistic and more of a decorative piece, but a good start if you've never done a 3D puzzle like it. 
So these one. Are these are neat. <laughs> these are. Ah! <laughs> The, can I see them? Yeah. I, so these original, so crystal puzzle. Yes. Collect all of the original 3D crystal puzzles. 49 pieces. And that one is 47 pieces. This is a level one. Okay, so it's a level one. Yeah. This is a level two. Oh, oh. Do you yeah, see how they go together? Yes, mm -hmm. it's, okay, so hi Dan, if we could enhance again. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but like the, in here, they're they're slotted, right? They're so you've sliced. got these. Yeah. It's slices that go in a very specific way. So these are really interesting puzzles. Very different from the 3D puzzles that we have been doing on tabletop stream. As those, yeah, the whole thing is 3D, but the mm -hmm. pieces individually are flat. Yes. And these pieces are, well, I guess they're sort of flat, but they they're very different than the ones that we've been doing. Neat. Very cool. Very, very cool. Corn silver. Thank you. Next up, we have a package from Kim in Grinnell, Iowa. Here is leather. There is leather. Hi again. First off, congrats on another wildly successful Extra Life. It was my first time watching live, and while I didn't stay up for the whole thing like I had hoped, I had an absolute blast. I already can't wait for the next one after you all get plenty of rest and fully recover. Looks at Steven as he falls asleep during another disc only. Second, I love puzzles. And seeing you guys do a puzzle stream is incredible. I'm sure other people have already thought of this, but I had a custom puzzle made for you guys. I hope it's okay. I used pictures from your Instagram. I'm not an artist, so trying to make a puzzle with my own art would have been atrocious. I fully don't expect you guys to make this puzzle on stream. I know a flat puzzle doesn't have the same fun effect as a 3D puzzle. I just thought it would make y'all laugh. As I'm sure you can imagine, the pictures don't completely cover every uh, part of Stephen Core. <laughs> I gotta see this. Oh, this is cool. This is very, very cool. So it's a 520 piece. That's that's serious, yeah, serious, serious puzzle, puzzle. business. Mm -hmm. But we've got a few different uh, images here, and that actually is a fairly good representation, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like that a lot. I like the inclusion of um, the the cookies and the coffee. It's really working on me because I'm like, I want cookies. <laughs> I, like everyone's got a food like that. For me, it's donuts for sure. Oh, don't, I'm bad with donuts. If I see a photo of a donut, I'm like, <laughs> I need that. But cookies too, cookies work on me. Anyway, uh, finally I found some more games that didn't seem to be stuff that y'all owned. So I'm passing them along. I also found a collection sheet that came with the Kingdom Hearts guide I sent in another box. There's also a map slash item tracker for Twilight Princess. I can't remember if it was part of a guide, but I'm sending it along too. Obviously, you can trash them if you don't think they are of any use slash value to you guys. Love you both. From Kim. Well, Kim, first off, thank you. Sincerely appreciate it. This is a very thoughtful gift, and uh, I, I really thank you for, for doing that. Uh, the games that are in here... Uh, oh man, Rocket Slime! This is... Uh, been on my mind a little bit because this is actually one of the games that um, John did in the TRG Coliseum 2022 bonus stream oh. uh, that we we did in in recent recent months while people were sending stuff in and uh, I was I was looking and I was like that's a really interesting game ta da now it's here so Kim thank you for that um, along the same lines uh, it's uh, Chocobo Tales Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Tales. They both square, yeah, I was gonna say, they're Square Enix games. Neat. There's a lot of like interesting spin-off games from the Final Fantasy series and Dragon Quest series like these, especially stuff that was on DS. And a lot of it's extremely highly rated. Like they're really good games and they're things that I just haven't played. And also, uh, Deathly Hallows Part One <laughs> with the Connect. It's not a Connect game because some games like you have to use a Connect. This one just, Supports the connect. Better with. Like, yeah. I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm really not. And then of course here is the Zelda poster. This is the Twilight Princess poster. It real big. And then the other poster, as promised. If I open up this. Oh, this one real big also. Hold on. It 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 coming. Hold hold on. It it com oh hold on. It hold on. Hold hold on. It oh. Oh, it, it, here. 
There you go. You got there. It's Kingdom Hearts, baby! I don't know why I said it that way. But I, but I did, and I can't go back. Um, Kim, thank you. Oh, hey. I know what this is. I don't know who it's from, though. Oh, you opened the thing, but you didn't announce that you're opening the I'm thing. I'm opening a thing. <laughs> I was sitting there waiting. I was like, Mouse gonna open the thing, and then she's, oh look. Okay, well, uh, so, our next packages uh, are we don't know who they're from. They're from like a, a company like Amazon or, yes. or, or something. Um, and so I don't know that they're. I a gift opened note. the first one. Oh my god. The tape on this one is a little harder to open. There's, there's not. That was a good try. You know, there's not, there. a, not a gift note with these. No, there's not even a receipt. Okay, so these could possibly be from someone else. When we open a package, it'll be like, oh, I also sent this. Maybe. They are the same. One is hardcover and one is softcover. Oh. But this is Cursed Princess Club, which is a series I've been reading on Webtoon. That weren't I've we really, just really talking really about enjoyed. that? We were just talking about that, weren't we? Were we? We were just talking about the, there was because if if I recall, you were talk you were describing a comic. I don't remember when this was, like a stream. You were describing a comic, and everyone was like, "Oh, this comic," and you were like, "No, this completely different comic," and this was one of the others. Maybe. I think that was it. I don't know. Anyway, it's nice to have a hard copy because this is really good. In fact, um, there's been many times over my years of friendship with Haley mm -hmm. where we've been like, hey, read this comic. Mm -hmm. And the other one has been, I've been reading that since it started. This is one of them. So who who has been reading it since it started? I don't know. I didn't start it. I started it in the first season. Oh, okay, so but, um, either you or Haley have read it. But Haley was talking to Lindsay, and Lindsay was like, I need something to read, I want a comic. And Lindsay, and Haley was like, hey, I think, Lindsay, you would really like this. And I was like, oh my god, Haley, it happened again. I've been reading this, like, mm. forever, too. So, it's okay. good. I'm like... It's about... That was very hard to follow. That was like some Da Vinci Code level connection stuff. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's really good. I believe you. It's I've, real I've big. I've really liked it. Um, There's like it a says, lot meet of... Gwendolyn, living proof that princesses don't always have it all. So. Well, I do not know who this is from, but thank you. Sincerely appreciate it. And again, we might have someone to thank as we dig mm -hmm. further into the boxes. Next up, we have a package from Amazon. And it's Here. got the note. Ah, it's from Jared Dillon. Thanks to the both of you for being such wonderful inspirations over the years. I would have never, uh, I never would have made this if it weren't for you guys, but especially Steven in his wonderful way with words. Best wishes from Jared. Oh my this God. This is so cool. Oh my God. I've always enjoyed Jared's art. I have too. This I, is... Ever, ever since, ever since Jared was doing, um, you know, art from my morning content. Yeah. And getting a chance to see, you know, the work on that was really spectacular. And then also there's just been so much art, you know, since then. And it has culminated into this book. This is just, this is so precious. I love it. I love this. And the name of the book, since Pigs you did- Pigs in a yeah, Barrel. Pigs in a Barrel, written and illustrated. That is super cute. And on the back it says, so many animals and barrels in view. If you had a barrel, what would you do? Man, I gotta tell you, I I don't know the, the correct word for the emotion that I experience. I, 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 it's a little bit of pride, even though I have nothing to do with any of this. I know. <laughs> but like, there, there's been times over the years, usually maybe like once, maybe twice a year, where someone sends in something that they have published whether it is a, a novel or a, a, a children's book or something. And I, it's a very weird experience, but I'm always like really excited. I'm like really excited and I'm, yeah. I'm, I feel proud even though I have no real connection. And when it's someone that we've seen over the years yes. and doing different things, it's, yes. it is 
proud. It's, it's, it's super like, cool. And I think it, the, the cool thing about something like this is that it's not just us, too, because, like, anyone that watches, like, Friday streams, like, they'll, they recognize the name, and they're like, oh, I know that person's work. And that's, I think, the thing that makes this really, really fun, is because then other people are like, oh, that's really cool. The art in this is really fantastic. Like, this is really, really great. Let me, let me show you another, another thing here. This one's really good. I don't know how well, it, well, I was like, I don't know, it's kind of dark, and I realized when I turned it this direction, the light there's is studio coming. lighting, and you'll actually be able to see it. I love that. I get, you know what this reminds me of? I get big um, Wind Waker vibes. Yeah. Because of the beginning of Wind Waker when you're in the barrel and there's guards and stuff. That's what it reminds me of. Jared, congratulations. And um, thank you for sending this our way. We appreciate it. Our next package is from Thomas in Deer Park, Washington. Steven, read this one first. Okay. I am pretty good at following directions. Uh, hello again. I've mailed you guys before, but this is the first time I'm doing so from my new house in Deer Park, Washington. For reference, I'm the one that sent you guys the save the dates for my wedding that were mason, mason jar fridge magnets. Ah. Uh, mm. <laughs> those are really cool, by the way. Uh, I'm going to try to not repeat myself from the first few packages I send, but I will reiterate that you are one of my favorite YouTubers and I love watching your content. Once the old timeline is finished, I will redo the journey with the vlogs because they help me more than most would expect. I struggle with a lot of aspects of everyday life and just watching the vlog following someone else's everyday life helps me through it. I can't really explain it either. I mean, I've heard that a lot. Um, so I, I do kind of get it actually without you needing to explain it. Um, I'm also excited because as of the, this moment when we're doing mail, like I'm real close to finishing the old timeline. Like I don't have but a handful of vlogs left and I'm still working through it, but um, I'm, I'm excited that that'll be done. And folks that have wanted to do just this where they re-watch things, Everything in order. Mm -hmm. they'll be able to. Anyway, included in this package is a couple board games that I think would be really fun for you and your friends to play and even record or stream. Poetry for Neanderthals and On a Scale from One to T-Rex. I've also included some movies I have extras of and that nobody I know has been wanting to take off my hands, so now they're your problem. <laughs> so, the games... I've never heard of the it's games. It's by Exploding Kittens. I've never so heard of, of it. Both of them are. What? Here's Poetry for Neanderthals. I bet the games are very good. You are, uh, as a Neanderthal poet, how do you get your primitive friends to guess the word campfire using only words with one syllable? You might say, hot place, where you roast, soft white cube, and your team guesses correctly, you get points. Yeah, Exploding Kittens um, was fantastic. Like, mm -hmm. very, very good Russian Roulette Uno, which is essentially what it was, so... A word game where you must speak good or get hit with stick, inflatable included in this box. Oh my god, you hit people with a stick. Uh, movies that are included in the box. Uh, Finding Nemo, Now You See Me, Zombieland, you are dropping a lot of things today, I'm very concerned. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo, Now You See Me, Zombieland. Uh, and it, it says, hilarious movie. I mean, agree. I actually saw Zombie Lane in theaters. I saw, With me. I, I saw it when it. Pretty sure you saw it with me. I don't. Because I saw it in theaters. When did Zombie Lane come out? 2009. Zombie Lane came out October 2nd, 2009. What happened? was that we were dating. Mm -hmm. We were long distance, mm -hmm. and we went to see the movie at in theaters, but not together. Oh. I'm pretty sure, because like that, I was thinking, mm, timeline for that doesn't make a whole <laughs> lot of sense. I, I, you know, I think that you went and saw it at the theater, and I went and saw it at the theater. Mm. I'm sure I saw it with Dan. Probably. Um, Dan and, and probably Alex and, and Taylor. We probably went to see it, and you probably went to see it, and then we talked about it. Mm. I don't think you were with me at the time. Okay. Sorry. I wish you would have been. Yeah. I liked you a lot. I wish you would have been with me. Uh, also, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation uh, and Detective Pikachu. Enjoy them or get rid of them. Up to you. 
Uh, Christmas Vacation uh, might be one of the funniest movies ever made. Um, yeah. Personally. It's a good one. It's it is a uh, it is an absolute absolute great one. Um, so there's also another uh, a letter, letter for me. There's a letter for you. Mel, I've been a big time, sorry, I can read. I've been a big fan of your paintings ever since you started making them. But as I've stated in a previous letter, I've really hoping to purchase one of your original canvases, but my wallet always said no. And then I saw the Luigi's Mansion one and I knew it was my time because that's my favorite game of all time and my favorite painting that you've done. My wallet continued to say no, but I figured it out anyway and managed to win the canvas. It's up on the wall and I couldn't be more excited. Included on this piece of paper is a picture of me with the painting. I swear I'm smiling, it just doesn't always show up in photos because I don't like taking pictures. I love this painting and I'm extremely happy to own the original canvas. Thank you for making it and all the other paintings you make. I'll keep watching videos as they come and maybe one day my wallet will say yes to another painting. That's, that's very, very cool. I, I, I always love seeing um, whenever people get the originals. Yeah. Because um, sometimes when, when people get originals, they'll they'll take a picture and post it on Twitter or send Mal a message on Facebook or something. And like, um, do that. Yeah, do I that. do always appreciate Mal, that. Mal always appreciates it because like to some extent, Mal pours a, a little bit of herself into um, the paintings and then whenever they're gone, there's a little bit of wonders, like, where They're did they go? They're off in the world. There's been a handful that I've just never heard of. I mean, they're yeah. just out there somewhere. They're out there somewhere, and it's like, I wonder where... Because sometimes people get them, and like they're like, oh, man, they'll take a picture of it in their living room or whatever, mm -hmm. and then, they, then we know, and we're like, ah, that's where that painting is. But there's more than half, I'd say, that are yeah. just... It's like, whatever happened to them? I hope the person who got it is enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> um... Anyway, uh, Thomas, thank you. Sincerely appreciate it. Next up is a package from Jonesboro, Tennessee. Jonesboro, Tennessee. Stephen, Mal, and Kepler. Kepler, can you read this one, maybe? Hey. Uh, hi. Can you... He <laughs> little snort. Mm. Mm. I don't think that he can actually... Well, I think the problem is not that he's sleepy. I think that it's he can't read. We never yeah, send. We I, never send them to school. Oh no, they're gonna come after us. That's that's how this. That's that's what went wrong. You two bring the Mary wherever you go. And oh my God, yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew who this was from based on uh, the the location. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is from Ryan, and I was right. And this is Merry Christmas 2022. This is George Ryan and Reggie. That's so cute. Man, I, Ryan Ryan posts pictures um, of the, the two cats on the Discord, and they're the cutest freaking cats. They're so cute. It should be a, a legal, should be a crime. They're, they're, they're so stinking cute. Really strong opinions about your cats. <laughs> and I have for many years. Anyway. Uh, Stephen Al Kepler, Merry Christmas to a pair who are so good together and so very loved. The enclosed snack was mentioned on a recent stream and I happen to have an unopened bag. Enjoy! Also surprised to see that Stephen doesn't have this board game, given his history with it. Here's hoping it gets shown on a future tabletop stream. Best wishes for 2023 from Ryan, George, and Reggie. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I, lo I love, I love this. This is, this is great. This is really, really great. What? What's that? You don't know. It's a... Oh, oh, oh. Now we are awake and alert. Oh, you can have that. If you want. That's totally fine. You know what this is? Are you ready? Oh! I actually have... So, again, like... This mail is from like a few different time periods, mm -hmm. um, and actually, even still, I have not had. Ah, 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 tried to take oh, his toy away. Oh, 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 I didn't look what I was doing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I shoved my, shoved my finger into his mouth, and I felt, I felt his tooth come down, and I was like, okay, little buddy, let go. He kept going. He kept going in, and I was thinking, no, 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 no. He 
can't do that to me. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, woo, 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 woo. You didn't, you didn't even know my finger was in your mouth. <laughs> the thing was still in there, so he's like, ay, 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 and then my, ay, 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 ay. Ooh, okay. You know anyway, what make you feel better? These? The pretzels. Yeah, so what I was trying to say before he about bit my, my finger off is that I still have not had these. Um, and like, I have a vague idea of what they taste like because I've had something similar. I've had similar uh, cinnamon sugar pretzel things. Like at the Auntie Anne's. Or cinnamon twists at Taco Bell, but not airy. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I haven't had these. These are these are these are new. And I saw them in the I saw them in the store the other day, and I I I almost got them. I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad we did. Oh man. They smell the cinnamon sugar smell. They smell just like you were going. You were getting some at the Auntie Anne's. Uh huh. It tastes like cinnamon toast. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. God, I haven't made cinnamon toast in a long time. Eating these makes me want to to make cinnamon toast. That might be what I do for breakfast. I don't know. These are good. These are good. When it comes to these sorts of things, like the pretzels, generally I crave like like salty or mm -hmm. savory over sweet. But you cannot deny that this is this is a quality snack. It really is. These are great. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. There's still another thing, but I'm thanking you now because, like, these are good. This is a board game. Okay. Oh my god. You can play this solitaire. Yeah, you can. Have you done that? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm an only child. <laughs> and, uh... There may have been more than one time in my life I've played Hungry Hungry Hippos by myself. <laughs> So one thing about playing Hungry Hungry Hippos when you're an only child is that you never lose. <laughs> you always win! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Campbell. It's true that I actually don't own this. Um, the version that I played was... I mean, I don't know if it was mine, like, originally, but it was it was at my, my grandfather's house. Mm -hmm. It was, like, old, stop right? Stop eating the tissue paper! You can't stop him. You munchkin! We took away his toy, and now he'll eat whatever he he, he wants. The the version of, of Hungry Hungry Hippos I had was at my, my grandparents' house, and um, it was probably one of the, the... Well, I don't know how old this game is. It might be, like, from the 60s, but it was, it was an old one, and uh, I played it, you know, basically whenever I was there. <laughs> But when my when my uh, grandfather passed away and they had the estate sale, I don't. That was probably one of the things that was like we don't need to bring that back. Which, in fairness, was probably true. But it's it's funny to now have a version of it, you know, myself. So, Ryan, thank you. Our goblin child thanks you too. Never say never, man. You don't know what'll show up on tabletop stream. You have no idea. <laughs> Anything can happen. <laughs> Next up, we have a package from Matthew in Kitchener, Ontario. And the letter says to Stephen and Mallory, for my Christmas gift to you for this year, I've decided to make a very important decision. I am giving you the two, giving the two of you the shirt off my back. Why, may you ask? Well, to explain the reason, I have to talk about something I've mentioned previously in some mail packages that I've sent. I've mentioned my childhood hometown where I continue to do volunteer work to this day, but there was something that I hadn't talked about, which is my high school. And then Matthew um, goes into detail about uh, his, his high school. There's a lot of uh, interesting history about it, including um, some uh, very interesting alumni. Uh, but when we get further down into the letter, it's a very long letter. Uh, when we get further down into the letter, uh, it talks about the fact that the school's team name 
is the Lancers. And the Lancers is also one of the starter jobs in Final Fantasy XIV. So Matthew had started a Let's Play in March 2014 of Final Fantasy XIV and had planned to play for a set amount of time, but then kept playing because more and more expansions came out and uh, ended up doing the Let's Play for uh, 900 episodes, uh, including all sorts of other content. Uh, choosing now to finish the Let's Play, but also feels very connected to the Let's Play, not only because it's it's a, you know, a long period of work that he worked on, but because um, the starting job was the Lancer, which reminds him of his school. So, now that I have all that on my system, I would say not, uh, not only to the two of you, but to everyone who has come to join you in North Carolina, enjoy Christmas, enjoy the gifts, and as they say in our high school's fight song, lift the banners high. Respectfully yours, Matthew, a.k.a. Lithography. Thank you. And there's uh, all sorts of stuff in this box. There is, of course, um, the, the jerseys from the school. The shirts. Shirts? What shirts. is what is a shirt other than a a jersey? Uh, I think a for jersey a, is like a particular material. Yeah, but it's for a, jer a a shirt and a jersey are only different mm -hmm. in the sense that the shirt is a jersey for a a, a normal person, like a non-athlete. That's the only difference. This? How is this not a jersey? If I wear it outside and do a run. I can justify anything to you. Uh, you can we try. We've, I, yeah, I can unsuccessfully try. We got Haven, complete first season. There's um, also um, English toffee mix. English toffee mix. Uh, and then there's some coffee. Various coffees. Oh, they're. Oh, they're made from Yoshi's. Oh. <laughs> this one's Dr. Eggnog. <laughs> This is a pretty alarming <laughs> image, actually. Dan, can we enhance on this? It's a pretty, like, I, I mean, obviously, like, you can't use official art, so, like, the Yoshi's just drawn just, like, slightly different, but it's the fact that the egg is cracked and, like, coffee is pouring out of it, it's like, oh. Like, I don't know, it's a great image, I love it a lot. This is Dr. Eggnog. I like that, too. Yeah. I like that too. Uh, what else is in the box? There's this. Is this a, a hoodie? A hoodie? It is. Oh, it's a winter jersey, Stephen. A, 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 a winter jersey. Trademark winter jersey. Okay. And then there's uh, some lotions of various flavors. Flavors. <laughs> Scents. I think the word you're looking for is sense. Um, I mean, I don't know how they do it in Canada, and but I don't think you can there's some eat candles the lotions. Too. Oh, very nice. Oh, I can smell that one. That smells good. The sounds. Uh, it's cookie. It is a cookie. You're just making the cookie feeling worse. I, I saw now a cookie, and cookie. now I really want yeah. cookies. Anyway, Matthew. Thank you again for sending everything, and, and uh, congrats again on uh, wrapping up your very, very long Final Fantasy project. Next up, we have a very, very large box from Anne and Crystal in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I am instructed to start by opening this envelope. It oh. says, uh, getting this leather printed got me 100% into the holiday spirit. Also known as, I hate everything now. Hope you enjoy the presents. P.S. It's not really that bad. <laughs> Oh no! Dear Stephen, Mao, and Kepi Cat, Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Everything Else! You know the general pacing of mail videos. Here's hoping 2022 went well for you. It's been a while since we sent you a box, so we thought we would make it something special. 12 day presents for Christmas. Think of it like an advent calendar, but happening after Christmas instead of before. <laughs> I'm still down for it! Yeah. I'm still down for it! <laughs> 
Uh, 12 Day Presents comes from something my family used to do, and writing, by the way. My parents noticed that all the presents on Christmas Day tended to burn out me and my siblings. We would get overloaded and stop having fun. To prevent this, they started holding back some presents so we could open them slowly over the 12 days of Christmas. Sometimes the presents were even themed, like the year I got a dollhouse on Christmas Day, and furniture, accessories, and extra dolls as my 12 day presents. Now, obviously, nothing is stopping you from opening every present right now, but we've set these up to be extra fun if you open them on the designated days. Plus, there's a couple uh, things on top for you to enjoy now. Some candy for the humans, some treats for Kepi, and a little desk light that was just too cute. And uh, if you're going to handle things in the 12-day format, you can set aside the remaining three pages of this letter. Please open the numbered present, then read the bit of the letter for that day. Things here in Pittsburgh are pretty quiet. Hutch Cat was a little sick last month, but she's all recovered now. Starsky Cat as well, and delivering her prey toys to Anne's bedroom rug on a regular basis. And Brando Dog is clearly doing fine for himself since he was able to donate to Extra Life. Anne is having fun running around the Paldia region in the new Pokemon games, and Crystal is planning a big trip with a friend next year. You might just get a souvenir from the home of Three Good. Thanks as always for everything you do, and see you on the first day of Christmas from Anne and Crystal. Well, first off, thank you. Um, and you know what? I will do this. I'm starting this on, on the mail video, but I will continue this uh, off camera then. So these are letters to be opened on days one, five, and ten. So I'm gonna open letter one. Yeah. One second. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. So here is day one. And I think it says, yeah, it's, it says as we go further down, it reveals kind of what's coming up. So I won't read those. I'll read the first one. On the first day of Christmas, your viewer sent to you a Lego set to put on view. <laughs> and it comes with a game. Crystal would like to add that it was a pain to wrap. <laughs> so, uh, I will I will not open the other things, but um, there well, is... Well, there's stuff on top. There's stuff on top. These look amazing. Oh my god, salted caramels are a thing that I love almost more than I love other things. I could have worded that better. <laughs> Mao is good when she is good. Mao is bad at being bad. I really They're love salted chicken, caramels. Chicken cat treats. Oh, I really love these. I am trying not to open these right this second. They're chicken, chicken. I'm gonna chicken, do it chicken. anyway. I can feel my body not being able to stop itself. It's starting to open the packaging. <laughs> Is oh. this the desk light? It's so cute. Look at this. Oh, that's cute. It's so cute. That's very cute. And yeah, I'm, op I'm opening this up. Listen, I salted caramels and me, we have a history. There's and one. The history is I have a history of eating them. This is the one. Okay, you. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> Oh, I can see why this was a pain to wrap. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. It's a starter course. Oh, it's cool. It's a buildable game. Complete the challenge, rebuild. Oh, God. Do I not get one? I'm sorry. I'm very good. I really love salt. It, it, it's not even a salted caramel. Just the flavor. Mm -hmm. Salted caramel milkshake. Send me to the moon. Yeah, this is a wild box. So this is... I'm on the French side, maybe. Am I? No, I'm not. It's all languages. I saw a little French and I was like, ah, French! Which is also how I approach French in real life. Okay, so it's it's a it's it's the Mario Lego set, and the thing about this was that it it includes Luigi. Mm -hmm. It's called the Adventures with Luigi set. Ah, okay. I don't know a whole lot about the Mario Lego set, but I remember seeing. The, the Mario when they came out, and like the Mario has got all sorts of electronics 
in Music him. and sound. Yeah. Brick and color recognition. Yeah. Press on to play Bluetooth. That's wild, man. Like, it's it's really cool that Lego has has continued to evolve in a way that is still Lego. Yeah. Like, it's still very much Lego, but, like, the fact that the, it, the toys have things in them that have brick recognition, so they, like, know what bricks they're touching is just really wild. That's super cool. Um, all right. Even though it's not Christmas, that doesn't matter, and we get to enjoy things for the next 11 days, and that's exciting. So I will keep these on hand, and I will read through them um, as we're going through your stuff. And uh, thank you, because I, I know that it's very easy to be like, ah, this should be open for Christmas, but it's actually kind of fun when it's not. Yeah. Because like the holidays are over, and now it's like, oh, I got something to look forward to every time. <laughs> kind of like that. Thank you both. Appreciate it. Our last package, and I really should say packages because there are three very large packages, Yes, are from Cynthia in Fleming Island, Florida. One of these is bigger than Kepler. Like, it weighs more than Kepler. Yeah, they're, they're very big. Also, and it might have been obvious as we were going through this mail video, we weren't really going based on date. That being said, I do think that these were the most recent things that we got. Mm -hmm. So we are ending with the most recent thing that we got, but everything up to this point is kind of meandered through the various uh, dates where things were sent. All right, so there is a letter in here. And it says, uh, Dear Stephen Amell, I hope this letter finds you well. I'll keep this short and sweet. Contained within, you will find many games and some strategy guides that my husband and I accumulated over time. We hope these will be in a good home with you, or at the very least, some uh, some use as trades. Sincerely, uh, Luminea. There you go. Oh, and there's a pronunciation guide at the top. Luminea. I got it right! I got it right! Uh, well, Luminea, thank you. I sincerely appreciate it. And, I mean, you, you probably know this, but, like... Yes. Like, anyone that sends in games, uh, especially, like, like childhood games or games they've accumulated over time and they want to know that the games are going to be, like, loved and taken care of, we will. We absolutely will. And I'm extremely curious to see what is inside well, these. Let There's me three give you, boxes. Let me give you this box, and I'll open the next one while you do this one. Um, okay. Oh, boy. That's not even the heaviest one. Oh, no. Um... Oh, there are there are many there are many video games in here. Um, Wowie Kazowie. Let's see here. There's a lot of so well. There's a there's a single GameCube game in here, and that is Super Mario Sunshine. Wahoo! I did a pretty good. Do impression that again that. for all of them now. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption. Yahee! Thanks. You don't have no, to continue. No, 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 no. <laughs> Call of Duty World War II! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just always wanted to hear Mario in the <laughs> Charles Martinet in the, in the Mario voice say, Whoa! Let me give a quick rundown of, of the things that are that are actually in this box. It's divided up into uh, PS3, PS4, and uh, there's a, there's a few other. There's an Xbox 360 game which was uh, Red Dead Redemption. There's also Red Red, Red Dead Redemption for PS3, and uh, it's actually easiest if I just hold this up like this so you can see. So there's a, a collection of um, PS3 and PS4 games going down the side there. There's also uh, what looks to be maybe a limited edition copy of or a special edition copy of Mass Effect 3 for uh, PS3, and also Resistance Fall Man. And then what's in here? Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! GX! <laughs> the, the beginning of destiny! I promise I will not keep doing that. Um, mm, can you promise? I can't promise, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Put the, it over there. There is not a whole lot of room. I know. Okay. Uh, same thing here. Oh man, we got some. Um, we got. Some, oh, are these factory sealed copies of Xenosaga One through Three? Yes, they are. <laughs> what? 
There are factory sealed copies of Xenosaga 1 through 3 in this box. Wild. Absolutely wild. Wild. Well, the wild... <laughs> The, the, in this box specifically, there aren't any other PlayStation 2 games. There's a, a big box of uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution for PS3. And then otherwise, these are uh, these are all PlayStation 3 games. As you can see there's a bunch of different PlayStation 3 games. Some really good titles in here as Which well. Which one are you going to read in the Mario voice? The bottom one? This one? Marvel vs. Capcom 3! Fate of Two Worlds! Wahey! <laughs> You really have enough fun time. Uh -huh. Let's see, it can put this here. Yes, that's safely there. Ready? And then the final box, which is guides. Oh my god! <laughs> there is a guide for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, god of War 2. Like the, the, I was about to say the old one, but there technically, technically has only ever been one God of War 2. There is another God of War which is the God of War 2018, but the next God of War in that line is not called God of War 2, it's called God of War Ragnarok, so it's, there's really only one God of War 2. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, 3D Dream Drop Distance, uh, the, oh, this is cool, the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon Player's Guide. That's a cool cover. It's a fun game. Yeah. It's a very fun game. Another super fun game, Mario 3D Land. I love Mario's uh, 3D Land. This is a great game. And then behind it is actually Emil's favorite game of all time, and that's uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star. I think this is. is Does going it come on with right? stickers? <laughs> Bonus it, sticker it sheet. Would, it would be. It would almost be a slap in the face if it didn't have <gasps> it stickers does come in it, with right? Stickers. It's beautiful. Uh, and there's also hey Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I love the Mario and Luigi series. Uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, what is this? This is Mass Effect something. Two. Mass Effect 2. I've never played any of the Mass Effect games, but I've got a few friends who have always really, really yeah. adored them. And then this is Final Fantasy something. I don't remember which one this Final is. Final Fantasy something. Well, I don't remember which one this is. The I know this character from Final Fantasy. I think. I hope I'm right. You're from Final Fantasy, right? You're a Final Fantasy character? Where are you next? I'm, I'm right on the money. Yeah, it's Lightning Returns. Yeah, it's Final Fantasy. So fi Lightning was 12, and then Lightning Returns is just another, what is the name of this Final Fantasy game? It doesn't tell me. I know that you are a, a game. You're a game, you are Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, do you, wait, maybe you're not numbered. Maybe you're not a numbered Final Fantasy. Maybe you're just Final Fantasy Lightning Returns. No, I know. Final Fantasy 13. Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 is the name of this video game. I I had some of that knowledge because I saw that character and I was like, that's I'm pretty sure that's Lightning. Lightning is from Final Fantasy and I was like, I don't know which one it is. Like it's either like 12 or 13. I didn't know which one. But now I know. I'm I I know some things. Oh uh, yeah. Like not not everything. No. But like a few things. Mm -hmm. Lunea, thank you. Sincerely appreciate it. And um, we'll make sure that we give the, the games a loving home. Very curious. I mean, actually, some of these... There might actually be a few. Yeah, there's actually several sealed games in here. Because I was looking at the PS2 stuff, but actually, there's quite a few things that are sealed in here. Like, this is a sealed copy of Oblivion for PS3. Case. This is a, a sealed Steelcase copy. So there's actually, uh, yeah, there's actually multiple sealed things in here. This is very interesting. Like, a sealed copy of Uncharted 3, sealed copy of Homefront. The PS2 ones are the, the ones that are particularly interesting to me because I have a... Let's not call it a forward interest, but like a vague passing interest in collecting some PS3 or PS2 stuff, um, but in finding PS2 stuff, PS2 stuff that is sealed is like difficult because yeah. you're going you know further back in time. But I sincerely appreciate it. Thanks for thinking of us and thanks for sending stuff our way. And for everyone that sent in stuff, thank you. Um, I apologize that it took a little bit of time. Yeah. But. Uh, we sincerely appreciate it, and when when folks send stuff in, we will open it. We will get to it, and I think over time it'll get 
a little more frequent. It's just, uh, you know, the act of getting settled in and everything has been a time-consuming process. So try and bear with us. We will, we will in the future have a spring 2023 video, and maybe at some point we'll get back on doing videos just monthly. Uh, if you're watching right now and you'd like to send something in, you absolutely can. There is a link in the description of this mail video that will give you all of the information you need to know where you can send it, uh, what to send, what not to send, etc. And um, we look forward to uh, receiving and opening your mail in the near future. And with all that... That's it. I guess we're done. Mm -hmm. Thanks again. Sincerely appreciate y'all. We'll see you in the very near future for another mail video.